Hey guys, welcome back to Out of Work Outdoors. Today we are talking about striper fishing in March as part of our Fishing Explained 2021 series where every month we will discuss stripers, where to catch them, where they'll be at, and the best time of day to catch them. So in March, this is probably the beginning of the most exciting time of the year. March and April, definitely best time to take a new guy fishing, best time to fill the freezers, you know, best time for all the above. Weather, perfect, you know. So striper spawning run in March, right? We're going to keep it simple. We're going to cover three baits. There's a lot of baits you can throw. When you can find them, you can you can just catch them all day, basically. But the three baits we're going to talk about is the castable umbrella rig. That's this thing. Okay, so if you're going to, if you're still searching for stripers, uh, this is an excellent one to search with because the stripers are running upriver. They're real hungry and they want to eat before they get to the spawning area. So on their way, they wreak havoc on everything, you know, so... Why don't you just let them wreak havoc on this? So basically, this is one of the rigs we've been throwing for a while. It's kind of been discontinued, but there's a lot of other good rigs out there. We'll have some links in the description where you can go and uh, buy some of these. But this is a five arm, uh, and we just got them rigged up with basically flukes. <laughs> As you can see, it's a fluke. The zoo fluke oh, paddle oh, tail oh, with oh, the oh, biggest good job, good job, wide Colin. gap hook you can find. Uh, these are actually from, I believe they're VMCs, but okay, it doesn't really matter. Just, just get the biggest yeah, thing you get, because a lot of times we're throwing oh, this on a surf rod, or a big eight foot bait caster rod, uh, 65 pound braid, and that's the deal. Okay, if you can afford it, like I said, this is kind of the higher end uh, in terms of lowers and everything. But if you can afford it, this is the best thing you can throw for snipers all year round. Especially oh, pre-spawn spawning yeah. runs, and colors doubles. keep it simple, you know. We still uh, got doubles. All white. Uh, sometimes we'll dye the little tail green, yeah. green or chartreuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Chuck and line. If you can use, if you have doubles. electronics, even better. Doubles. You find it, then cast to them. You'll save a lot of time. But if you don't have a lot of time, or you don't have like good electronics. You can just basically stay at the mouth of the channel, the mouth of the creek. And work your way towards the back of the creek where there's some type of water flowing in. That's usually a big key this time of year because they have to go to an area that has running water. Water has to flow in because when they spawn, the eggs need the water to turn, to turn them in the, the, the grass and the, the rocks and things like that. So be, be cautious of that in the areas you're looking for. So it has to be a creek with running water. That's where they'll be. So right now, they're definitely in the staging area, and they're moving that way. So you want to start at the mouth of the creeks, and you want to move towards where there's running water. That is key. But that does not mean that they're still here. Some some schools are already up there. So what happened to us last weekend, we started at the mouth. And we have good electronics. We were scanning around. We couldn't find anything. Actually, we did find one major school, but they didn't want to buy it. So Yo, we hopped to a different you, creek, okay? and in this other creek, okay. they were already on the spawning bed. So we were videos coming out. So keep, keep subbed to that because that will drop in the next couple of days. So if you haven't subbed, sub to that. Just for that video. The next, the next thing that no one talks about is this little guy. It's pretty expensive, but this is called a chatterbait. Chatterbait, okay. And not a lot of people are talking about it. This is one of those lures where in the bass world, it's very, very, very talked about. But in the striper world, nobody mentions it. Well, I'm here to mention that today. This is just from doing so much bass fishing. We do carry a lot of our bass gear when we go striper fishing. So one day I just happened to have this thing tied on already. And I was like, let me see if the stripers will eat this or not. And man, this lure is underrated in the striper world this lure flat out catches them i don't know what it is is the vibration of this little blade right here and along with the shad profile and this is my favorite color too for oklahoma chartreuse and white it is a killer deal especially for stripers uh 
This is actually the Jackhammer, which is a fifteen dollar uh, chatterbait. But there's a couple other ones that are maybe half the price with a better hook, and I'll put that in the link uh, descriptions as well. But the one I'm referring to is a Chatterbait Elite. The Chatterbait Elite is the one that's got the five watt mustad on there. So that's uh, actually a better one for uh, for striper fishing. This one's all around. So white bass stripers hybrid. This is probably what you want to go with. It's a little more expensive, but the build quality is a lot better. And on top of that, I put a. This is a Z-Man, uh, swim bait trailer on there, and the reason why I like this is because this one little trailer, this white piece right here, for the guys that don't know, this white piece right here. You need one, it'll last the whole day. You're not going through packs and packs and packs. But exactly like that is how I have it rigged. And it's exactly how I fish it all year. Okay, guys? This thing is such a killer. The guy in the thumbnail, our buddy Key, he caught his striper on that. A chatterbait. Okay? <sighs> that says a lot. But once again, both of those options are fairly expensive. And they catch them. They're very well worth their price. Okay? If you're willing to jump that. But I know there's a lot of my audience that's going to be, you know, give me something that can just do the job. Don't worry, I got you. Alright, so if you're going to stay in the cheap or you're fishing in an area that's really snaggy, it's hard to beat this, okay? The Zoom Fluke. A single fluke with a jig head. It doesn't matter what kind of jig head you use. This just happens to be a, uh, I think it's a big hammer is what they call it. Where it's got the big eyes, triangle head, but... You know, jig head with a fluke, jig him around. Just throw it out, just hop it, roll it, hop it, reel it. They'll smoke it, you know. For something like this, it's about three bucks. Three to five dollars to start. Everything else, it's probably going to be ten dollars to start. Okay? And don't forget the swim baits as well. You know, this one's got a little dye on the back already. But this is a Kitex swim bait. You can do bass trick swim bait. You can do the fluke swimming swim bait that's on the A rig. But these two are probably the most common and the most comfortable most people will be in. Okay? So those are your baits. We're just keeping it kind of simple. Like I said, colors, it's going to be white and white and chartreuse for the most part. 80% of the time. If you find an area that there's a lot of people fishing and they're not on the white no more, then switch back to something more natural, uh, something with a more. Uh, say gray colors uh will definitely you know kick the bite back up so for the, for the month of month of march i've already mentioned this a little bit where do you want to be at so all the strippers are either staging or they're already on their way so that's what you kind of want to do so a lot of people will say you know just stay in the big stay in the mouth because by the time they go up and they come back you, you just stay in one spot fish are coming and going so you're always catching them so you know, it's a good idea but if you want to catch the boat load or you want to hit the school of fish, you have to travel with the fish or you have to find a way to intercept them. So start at the mouth of the creeks. And this is this applies to lakes and rivers, okay? So right now you should not be in the main lake anymore. Those offshore humps, main lake, they're not there. They're either in the mouth of the creek going towards the back of the creek. So mouth of the creek, back of the creek. Okay, that's where you want to look at. So... The bigger the creek, the better it could potentially be, okay? That does not mean the small creek can't have them, but the bigger creeks will have thousands and the small creek will have hundreds. Think of it like that. So depending on what you hit that day, you know, if 100 is good, 100 is good. You might hit the school with 1,000 where you're just pulling them up and down for hours, okay? So it's a little bit of a gamble. Uh, a lot of people be drawing it too, but... Uh, be be friendly with everybody because there's gonna be a lot of boats out there. Uh, but the key thing is running water. Okay, so if you have a creek that goes and just forms a big pocket, those creeks tend to not be as good. Uh, you need some type of running water. So like a river is a great idea. A river that feeds another river is a pretty good idea. If there's a dam on that river that feeds into the the major river, that little dam, then it's gonna be piled up in there. Okay, so look for look for stopping points or or walls, I call them walls, right? And they're gonna you're gonna find them in groups, so it's not gonna be one or two. They're gonna be groups. So if you don't find them, keep moving up the river. And eventually, when you find them, you'll find at least twenty. So they travel in big packs this time of year, major packs. And like I said, they eat everything along the way until they get to the spawning area. They eat everything. Once they get to the spawning area, they typically don't eat. 
for those two, three, four days that they're spawning. So you want to catch them before the spawning area. Okay, so keep that in mind. And uh, we fish a lot of dams also, but the dams is always a hit and miss. Okay, so you always want to check the dams if you have the opportunity to check the dams. Dams are, it's like it's like fishing in a fish tank, right? Either they're the fish ain't there, or they've come to you. So it's a one spot deal. The fish come to you. But the thing about dams is people fish them out. So if you get there, there might be a thousand fish there, but you know, lots of people, thousand fish come, they've spawned and they've left. Okay, so you're not in an area where they're always replenishing. Not always, but we have had the best fishing days at dams where you catch a limit in like 10 minutes. Dams. So, that being said, when is the best time of day to go? During the spawn, to me, my experience, they will bite all day. If you could get there and you find the school and uh say, say they're also chasing bait too don't get me wrong uh but if you find a school that is there's no bait around them and they're hungry they will eat all day they're very aggressive even in 50 degree water or 45 degree water they'll be very aggressive they'll eat all day they're not going to stop and then if you hit the prime time hours the four to six o'clock hours in the afternoon the bite's even better. That's really aggressive. Uh, this past weekend we were out and we actually found a group of hybrids, hybrid stripers. And the, I'm, I'm telling you, the water temp was like 45. Uh, and they was already chasing bait to the surface. We could have caught them on top water. So that world of no top waters is not completely out of the question. Okay, so for March is probably the best day to go fishing it's not hot yet you still need a little jacket but overall you catch them all day long and yeah go after them guys that's what we got for for the month of march uh stripers run is starting they're not full swing yet towards the end of the month probably full swing definitely full swing in april and in june it's gonna get really even better for you know top waters and things like that so you want to subscribe for uh, the, to the channel for for more information like this and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys? See ya.